hit the like and subscribe button right now or else your ex-girlfriend will win the lottery tonight. Ask slash reddit by reddit habits. What's a delicious poor man's meal? Okay as a Russian I'm telling you potato is the best food there is. It's cheap. You can cook it multiple different ways. So you will not get tired of it. Also it won't get bad easily. Get rotten. My ancestors survived cold winters and wars just by eating potatoes. You can slice it into thin slices and fry it. Or just boil it with hot water or oven it. BBQ it literally everything. Boil m, mash m, stick m in a stew. P.O. Tartos. Anyways, like I was saying, potatoes are the fruit of the dirt. You can BBQ m, boil m, broil m, bake m, saute m, days on potato kebabs, potato creole, potato gumbo, pan fried, deep fried, stir fried, there's pineapple potatoes, lemon potatoes, coconut potatoes, pepper potatoes, potato soup, potato stew, potato salad, potatoes and shrimp, Potato burger, potato sandwich, that's that's about it. <laughs> Russians are amazing. Don't be modest, your ancestors also survived cold winters, wars, and famines by eating wallpaper paste and sawdust after the potatoes ran out. I know it's not a contest, but the Russian people have survived some of the most awful circumstances ever. If you tell me to eat potatoes, I'm eating potatoes. Edit, typo fix. I'm Russian. Eat pussy. Pussy unavailable to me. What do? If pussy isn't available then get a flashlight. It's not cheap, but it will last for a long time. I make hobo dinner when I go camping. Ground beef, onions, carrots, potatoes and a bit of garlic. Wrap it in tin foil. I prefer the non-stick kind and throw it on some coals in your campfire. My friends who have never camped with me are always impressed. Spog, salt, pepper, onion, garlic is a basic seasoning base in the cooking world that's used in a crazy amount of food. That shit is amazing without adding other flavors, but you should add some smoked paprika to the mix anyway. Boy Scouts taught me this. Honestly, despite some cliches and negative stereotypes, Boy Scouts is a really solid organization that helped me a lot, and Cold helped me even more, if cared a bit more. Baked potato with cheese and broccoli on top. Buy a pound of baking potatoes, a block of cheese, and frozen bag of broccoli. It'll make you at least 3 to 6 of those. If you're feeling really crazy, then throw in some chili too. Canned chili for hot dogs works best it can be as cheap as like, 0.50 cents. I came here to say baked potato. I grew up so broke, we had potatoes at least once a day. There are so many ways to make potatoes. Potato cakes were a staple, just mashed potatoes mixed with flour and an egg to bind it, fry that up in some oil. Horrible for you, I'm sure, but it's delicious. Sometimes Little Caesars throws pizzas in the dumpster outside after close. When I was homeless, I dated the night manager at McDonald's. I got a sack of dumpster bound burgers big enough to feed me for the next 24 hours, and all it cost was having sex with someone I was already having sex with. Edit. Okay, lots of questions, so I will address them here. When I was 19, I lived in my car for a while. I was not crazy or strung out, and it was a brief thing. I was attending community college, so meeting and dating was not a big deal. I loaded trucks in the early morning for cash, went to school, changed and showered at the gym, and did laundry at my buddies. After about a month, I had saved enough to get a shared apartment. It was actually pretty fun. Also, it was the early 80s and things were more relaxed then. Randy, you're not going to whore yourself out for cheeseburgers again are you? A man's got to eat. <laughs> Buttered toast with cinnamon and sugar. We used to keep a premixed container of cinnamon and sugar because we ate this so frequently as kids and my mom got sick of helping us fix our god awful proportions. Mom had a little jar with a perforated metal lid that was specifically made for this. It was probably made in the late 50s and had a very faded label that said Domino Cinnamon Sugar. My roommates in college didn't know cinnamon could come without sugar. <laughs> Spaghetti with oil and garlic. Quick. Easy cheap white bread garlic toast this was a main staple when i was growing up less because we were broken more because nobody knew how to cook lol i still love it tbh 
I take my butter, mix some garlic powder and Italian seasoning into it, spread it on my bread, and throw it in the oven for a few minutes. It ain't fancy but it's good. I was a single mom in university. To stretch my budget, I made homemade soups. Every day for years I had homemade soup for lunch, and sometimes for dinner too. Do you have any tips for making your own soup? 1. Point homemade stock, bones, water, apple cider vinegar and salt. I just learned this one a year ago, and the ACV is key. Google stock with ACV, and you can get the right proportions. 2. Point dried beans are cheaper and better than canned. Check out the video Carla make beans on YouTube. 3. Point I do a lot of the tedious work ahead of time. I will peel and freeze garlic cloves. I find they are easier to slice thin when they are frozen. I also will cook and freeze other veggies I plan on using, so I can stock up when things are on sale. 4.4 recipes. My favorite site is alrecipes.com. Edit. Oh wow. Thank you for all of the awards. I did not know about putting ACV in soups. Aside from my family's chicken soup recipe, I've tried making a lot of soups, and there's always something missing. Poor dessert. Flour tortilla with butter, cinnamon and sugar. Cream cheese and jam is also really good on a tortilla. Only had the champs, because we got cream cheese from the food bank, that one time but damn. I love cream cheese and jam. Gonna try this. Ramen. Drained with no broth. With poor man's pad thai sauce. Mix a tablespoon of peanut butter into a small ramkin with enough soy sauce and sriracha to be able to thoroughly mix it into a smooth sauce. Dump over the cooked ramen, and baby, you've got a stew going. It tastes good, it's got a bit of protein, bit of fat, bit of carbs, little sweet, little heat. It's not the greatest nutrition you could eat, but it's way better for you than Oreos, and if you want to clean up the macros a little you can sub PB2 for the peanut butter and coconut aminus for the soy, and that'll cut the fat and sodium at least in half. And it's vegan. And baby, you've got a stew going. Are you selling acting classes by any chance? <laughs> Potatoes. In every way possible. Edit. Wow. So many fellow spud enthusiasts. To set the record straight, I'm a female, French by blood, raised by Lithuanians, not an Irishman. I see you latex. I like the vodka version. The classic Irishman's dilemma, do I eat it now, or wait for it ferment? Malariaja. For real though, lemon potatoes griac style, like 8 or 9 parts chicken stock to 1 part lemon juice and zest, oregano, some garlic and onion, salt and pepper, edit, also about 1 part olive oil, whoops. Make enough of that mix to roughly cover your potato wedges in a roasting pan and cook at 370 to 400 for like 35, 40 minutes depending on the starkiness of the potato. Add more lemon juice mixed with some water, if the potatoes are still firm, once the liquid is halfway gone, so they can still soak up the flavorful liquid while they cook. Bam. <laughs> Serious answer here, get a can of black beans and some cheap salsa. Put the drained beans and some salsa in a skillet and let it cook for like 10 minutes. Crack a couple eggs and let them poach in the beans. Serve with cheap bread or tortillas. All very cheap ingredients, and it's super high in protein, so it's filling and healthy. You can also sauté in any veggies you have sitting around, or put in whatever spices you have lying around. Edit. A couple of people are mentioning shakshuka that's where I got the inspo from for this dish. My boyfriend doesn't lull tomatoes, but we love Tex-Mex flavors, so I made up this altered version for us. Isn't this pretty much Hoover's Rancheress? Yeah but he gave instructions so that's cool. I love that energy il mayo. <laughs> pancakes. My grandma grew up during the depression. She said her mother served pancakes for dinner so often she got sick of them, and when she left the house she never ever made pancakes. Similar happened to my dad. My grandma made meatloaf a lot. My dad ended up hating meatloaf and asked my mom to never make it for him. Thus, we never had meatloaf growing up. I learned that I like meatloaf and I'm sad that I missed out for so long. My husband is the same. He never wants meatloaf, pasta with jarred sauce or macaroni and cheese. He had them weekly growing up and now he can't stand them. Sucks for my kids though. <laughs> Grilled cheese sandwich. 
Eater, y'all are making some fancy ass sandwiches, and don't get me wrong I'm not mad about it. But a cheap ass grilled cheese made with stale white wonder bread, I can't believe it's not butter and some craft singles holds a special place for me. Response summary to grilled cheese is a delicious poor man food. Use only the finest artisan French bread, just after cooling from your bread oven. Lightly coat with a mixture of goat butter and ghee. Sprinkle the bottom of the pan with saffron. Blend your mixture of gruyere and a mild cheddar aged exactly 7.94 years. Toast in a cast iron skillet until the butter resembles Hugh Hash 8 b 4513 Flip only once, toasting side to exactly 7 over 11 of the time spent toasting side 1. Remove and let cool for 37 seconds, adding 1.2 seconds per inch of local rainfall projected in the next 8 days. Cut off crusts. Eat with a silver fork with 62% handler weight. Hash 8 b 4513 Naturally I had to google this. Saddle brown. Spot on. Ramen with a side of ramen. Flush down with water. Ramen with an egg or two. I made 6 minutes Jamie eggs with instant noodles and frozen corn today for lunch, and it was heavenly. Jamie eggs does not compute. Soft boiled. The whites are cooked, but the yolk is like half cooked. It's delicious. Thank you so much for watching till the end. Don't forget to like and subscribe to keep up with our daily videos.